All right, here's how you add 3 eighths plus 5 sixteenths. What we need to do is get a common denominator. Right now we have 8 and 16. But if these are the same, then we can just add the numerators together and we'll be done. Let's do this. Let's say 2 times 8, because 2 times 8 is 16. Over here we have 16. That would make them the same. But we can't just multiply the denominator by a number. We need to multiply the numerator by that same number. Because here, 2 over 2, it's just 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we don't change the value just the way it's represented. 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 8 is 16. And 6 sixteenths, that's the same as 3 eighths. They're equivalent fractions. Over here, we'll add our 5 sixteenths to that. And remember, since we have the same denominator, we're just going to add the numerators. 6 plus 5, that's 11. And then we keep this denominator here the same. We keep that as 16. So, in answer to our question, 3 eighths plus 5 sixteenths, that equals 11 sixteenths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.